Here we are at the little crystal hole. Big old bug hole, actually. Not a very big opening, but here we go. We're going in. Coffee in the morning, coffee in the evening. These are pretty difficult to get into, but one, on. one way to do it, and that's just crawl on in, just inch your way. We pretty much picked this one clean, but there's enough around to give you an idea of what this must have looked like when we first opened it. We got quite a few nice pieces out of here. A few little points left here and there that are in pretty good shape yet, but they're a little bit too much work for what they're worth, so we're just going to go on into the back of the hole here. Kind of give you an idea what it's like to crawl into one of these things. See that these have a real nice amber color. That's kind of tight right here. We had a pretty good time getting specimens out of here because it was so tight. We had actually one guy in behind me and another guy at the opening who just kind of passing them to one another. And I mean, here's the back. You can see that one nice point up there. Oh, that's still kind of left that there. But right in there, that should be the back. It'd probably be too much work to get any more further back. So we're just going to leave it pretty much as it is. Now I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to crawl on out of here, hopefully. Just kind of inch our way back, little by little. Let's kind of pretend that the camera's a crystal and we don't want to damage. And just an inch at a time. painful sometimes this kind of work but it's usually worthwhile in the end and we should be coming on out of the hole there here we come Gonna be pretty hot work too after an hour or so. It gets to be about as much as you can take. Here we are. Back out of that little hole. I got you got it that time, Rod. Here's Mark. Hi everybody. Uh, I'd like to say to all my fans out there that we're here. We're watching. We're looking. If we find something, we'll miss it. <laughs> Thank you. Find the button. Okay. Right down here. There it is. Hi, everybody. It's the Happy Bug Hole Bandit. Up here on the north end of Elmwood. Show you this nice hole here at OR42. This is typically what we have to do to get specimens out, get them to use by in public. That's what they call Slim Jim. And what you're looking at here, it's about uh, 11 or 12 feet of pocket, total length. All this area here that I'm coming over right now was covered in fluorite crystals on the bottom, some calcites, and all that had to be taken up. You know, when you're moving through it, it's quite a bit slower than what I'm doing crawling back to you. 
But when we finally get back here, where you're sitting, uh, the hole was pretty good size. It's about seven feet side to side. There's plenty of material that came out of here. Some of the plates in excess of 70 pounds coming through this small hole that I'm working through. And that's what you gotta do to get a good one. What we're always looking for. We just thought we'd show you what we like to do to get the specimens out. And you can see right here, I'm up against the fluoride and here's a calcite. There's quite a bit of muck in here right now, generated. It's usually a problem when you're back in these holes. You can see what it takes to get in and out. While you're generating muck and less grade pieces, you know, like something, well, this isn't really that bad, but something like this, you don't want to go all the way back to the front of the hole to take this out, so you stack it. And you just keep backfilling, basically. Wherever you've dug good stuff out of, start putting stuff that you don't want to take back out in its place. Now I'm gonna give you a spin around here, show you what I'm looking at to your left and to your right and behind you. And then I'll carry you back out just like I would a specimen. Flip you around here. That would be to your left. Quite a bit of material, there was stuff hanging off the back, or what we call, what you'd call the ceiling. The floor was covered, some pieces in the middle. We're gonna gently swing around here. Here's where you were sitting. You used to watch me try to come in the front door. We'll swing over to what was your right. There's the piece I was talking about. Back filled back in. And there was to the right of your viewing area. All right, let's try to back this thing back out and I'll take you to the front of the hole. Show you just what it's like to come out just like a specimen would. Get another good picture of my ugly mug. Luckily, this camera is light. You got a 20, 30 pound specimen in your hand, it's just a little tougher. Because you don't want to mash it into the back or into the floor. As soon as you damage it, why well, collect it? Because you just lost probably 75% of your value. The one thing we got to get here on our way, if I can figure out how to hold you and do everything here at once, is we got to retrieve the light. Normally, I'd have that stuffed up in my mouth here. All right, onwards. <clears throat> really good for the belly. Three or four nights of this, and you know you did some work. Feel like a piece of hamburger. Okay, we got enough room to move the arm back. <laughs> okay, my feet are going out the front of the hole. There's a little shot. Some little chambers off to the side. You can see how we've just wormed around everywhere in here looking for any piece we could take. It was a good hole, though. It was about ten or twelve thousand dollars worth of material. Really nice fluorites. You see, there's all kinds of scraps and shards left. Let us exit this beast.
And there's the front of the hole. We just came back out that. There's my light hanging there. You saw us dragging along. And you were sitting all the way in the back. Probably kind of hard to see back there right now. I don't think the light's shining all the way. But that's where we were. All right. We're going to get out of here.